If you fight another man's battle, you will carry another man's bruise. No revelation, no result. You're welcome to a movie channel where you don't just watch movies, but revelation. Those who have been enjoying our content knows that we don't just release stories, but revelations and deep mysteries of the kingdom. There's one thing you need to help us do, which you have not been doing, which is not good enough. 20k views, 500 likes. 100,000 views, 1,000 likes. It's ought not to be so. Because when you do that, your attitude to the content gives YouTube a picture that you are just watching it and you don't like it. And then this will not allow YouTube to recommend it to other people. The best you can do to support this channel is when you come, you confirm if you are still subscribing, you like the content. It doesn't cost anything. Like before you watch and you share the video on maybe your WhatsApp platform or any of your social media platforms. By doing that, you are publishing the good news of Christ. You are here to watch another movie. Let's change the narration. Even as I'm speaking now, click the like button, share, subscribe. Let the algorithms know that people want to watch content on this channel so it will reach other people. Thank you very much. God bless you. It's here again. It is the August edition of the Fejo's Baba Talent Workshop 2024-2025 Academic Session. We offer basic certificate program, advanced certificate program, and professional diploma certificate program in filmmaking. The theme for this semester is Fresh Anointing. Come and get empowered and equipped for greater exploit in the kingdom. The date for the August edition of the FTW is August 16 to August 26, 2024. Cost fee is 30,000 Naira only, which covers tuition, accommodation, campus package, and certificate. Then we is LaSalle Secondary School, Arigbabola, Ondo City, Ondo State, Nigeria. Food will be available for sale on campus. Students are to come on site with editable laptops and camera if available. Also, the August edition of the Children Department of the FTW will be open. Date is August 16 to August 26, 2024 at the same venue. For more inquiries, call 0816847685 or 0706440150 FTW the gathering of battle access. I want to be serving God all this way. Man, what can we show for it? I will fight by going to school, become a lawyer, and take us out of this pain. I knew he was going to fail me. You were such a beautiful girl. Too extreme. <laughs> Do we not die? Who is this strong man that you referred to as? Herod. That is the surest way to multiply funds. It's about knowing the right channel to put your energy. Don't you know that the more you try, the more you master it, the more you become master in it. Excuse me, sir. A party. If you think your dignity is more precious, go ahead and protect it, then pick a better date for one. We are, we are sorry, sir. We entered the wrong office. You failed me because of that. No, you failed because of that. Why are you crying? So what's next time? There is only one way.
that you are rich does not ascertain relevance. We have many unfulfilled rich men. That you have wisdom does not mean you are going to be relevant. A big difference between being relevant now and staying relevant for eternity. That you have connections, that you have systems, that you have people, that you have all the risks, you have all the tools necessary for success to appear. Doesn't mean you will stay relevant. You are only going to be a torn by torn speechy of men. You enjoy visibility for a while. You enjoy relevance for a while. You enjoy that business for a while. You enjoy that ministry for a while. But the law of life will set in. And when the law of life set in, time and season happens and when time and season set in everything goes down your visibility goes down the business begin to run down and then life begin to introduce another person to take over and that's why we are torn by tons speeches of men torn by torn happens to men but not to steerers i'm not just a man no no i'm not just a man but i am a steerer because steerers know how to stay relevant throughout the age. I'm not a man. I'm a steerer. I do not stay relevant in time. I stay relevant throughout the age. Because my hand has touched something in the spirit. And so everything I do has everlasting life. These species of men are called the steerers. <sighs> Who is this man of God? I was about asking the same question. I, I thought you were saying. Yes, I was. But his voice crystallized into my spirit, and so my drowsiness faded into thin air. Who is that minister? You know, he, he said something like. Torn by tongue is for men, but not for stairs. He said he is not only really relevant, he stays relevant. But what does he mean by stairs? That's the puzzle. I'm going to find that minister with all the fiber in me. Hmm. Maybe forced by calling the station or something. I think that now will be better. It's terror of the river. River flows, river flows in me. It's terror of the You dwell in the midst of the cherubims, shine forth. You dwell in the midst of the cherubims, shine forth, shine forth. You dwell. In the midst of the cherubims, shine forth. I you dwell in the midst of the cherubims, shine forth, shine forth. You dwell in the midst of the cherubims. Shine forth. You dwell in the midst of the cherubims. Shine Thank you for seeing us once again, Evangelist. I'm Officer Dixon, Fred Dixon, and um, this is my colleague, Officer Joe Lakuli. We are from the Igomog Divisional Police Headquarters. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
The righteous, they say, is as bold as a lion. Hmm. Evangelist, let not your heart be troubled. We are not here for your arrest or anything of sorts. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he has trusted in him. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. Um, I guess you must be very surprised seeing police officer in your house this early morning. Hmm. Obviously. Uh, to what do I hold this unusual visit? Do you know Honorable Busui Francis? Of course. Everyone living in this part of the world will know uh, the Honorable. The CEO of Brand Autos and then um, you know, the current contestant for the House of Assembly under the popular PAP party. Oh, Why very sharp. Yeah. Very sharp. Thank you very much. E he has asked for your urgent attention and um, he called our boss, who knows you very well. And, um, our boss has promptly sent us to bring this news to you, sir. So because we are on morning duty, that is why we came here with our uniform. Mm -hmm. We are very, very sorry for any inconveniences. Um, I'm just wondering, why would the Honorable want to see me? Unfortunately, uh, we ourselves are not privy to that information. Uh, but I'm sure once you get to him, that will come to light, sir. Mm. Um, let me have the cards. So here you go, sir. Um, that is the card, sir. I'm saying I'm very, very lucky to be invited by the Honorable. Mm. Yes. <sighs> so if that will be all, we'd like to take our leave. Yes, I love you, dear Lord, so I will go wherever you want me to go. Yes, I cherish my lover so much, so I'll stay where yeah. you want me to stay. Darling. Yes. Please come. I'm I'm running late already. I need to run so I can be out of trouble. Yeah, I also run to make sure I meet up with your schedules, okay? I Just stay be. safe. Yes, oh. at work. <laughs> this is so good. All Thank right, you. then be good, okay? Oh no, Jesus, not today. Jesus. Dear, are you stable now? Oh, I'm weak. I feel so weak. Sorry. It's obvious you can't go to work again today. No. I will send to the office. Thank God that anytime this happens, it's not when you are outside. I'm just grateful to God for that. <laughs> God is faithful. Indeed. God is faithful. <sighs> You have to, you have to go back to the finance. This account is not coherent with what you have here. Um, okay, sir, but he added that if there is any discrepancy in the figures, that you should send your own breakdown. No, I don't need to do that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> your department should have the accurate figures. Okay, sir. If there are any extra expenses incurred during the course of the month, you should spell it out and do necessary retirement. All right, sir. All noted, sir. And please be very fast about it because Mr. Patterson will soon be reading the final document. Oh, okay, sir. But he called earlier today that he won't be in the office due to some circumstances. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. All right then, but um, take your time and be very fast in time. All right, I will, sir. Okay. 
report to the finance. Okay. Yeah, this is the Honorable's house. Yes, exactly. Honorable Busui, Francis. Yeah, very cool, sir. Yeah, I don't know if he's around. Um, do you have an appointment with him, or just came in your home? Uh, no, I, he actually sent for me. I, I have his card with me. Oh, all right. Um, kindly hold on. Let me inform you. Okay. okay. No problem. I'm a stare of the supernatural, bringing people to the light of Christ. Yes, I walk in light as Jesus walked on earth, bringing people to the light of Christ. Yeah, what is it? Um, there is a young man outside. He said he wants to see the honorable. A young man? Yes, What's his name? He really do not mention his name, but he showed me the business card. Oh, really? Okay. Let him in our from my husband. Yeah. Of the river, river flows, river flows in Yes, ma. Thank you. Thank you, ma. You said the honorable sent for you. Yes, ma. Uh, in fact, I saw uh, two people who came. I thought as much. <laughs> yes, sir. But not so fast. Money. Don't tell me you cannot recognize this man yet. Not really. Okay. Let me do a little introduction. This was the same man who held us spellbound yesterday by his words. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> oh really? You're welcome, sir. Oh, we're happy to see you, Mr. Sama. We're happy. We oh thank God, god. man. We thank God, man. Thank you very much, man. Honestly, you don't know how honored we are to have you in our house. Exactly. We are so happy, exactly. isn't it? Yes. Honorable, I think it's the other way around. You don't know how happy I am to be standing before Honorable Busui, ah, the great politician and entrepreneur. No. Sir, I am so, so happy. This is a privilege I will not take for granted. I honor you, sir. You are a king, sir. Then that makes you a diligent man. Because the Bible says you shall stand before kings. All right, I don't know this king. Whatever, or whatever. Thank you for coming. Please, have your seat. Make yourself comfortable. Please. Uh, please excuse me. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Fine. Without wasting much of your time, let me just go straight to the point. You were saying something about turn by turn happens to man, but not to the stairs. And that all men are relevant, but the stairs stay relevant. Who are the stairs? Thank you very much, Ma, for the. <laughs> Thank you. Please, who are the stairs? That was one of my old sermons. Yeah, that was just replayed on the telly yesterday night. But, sir, 
Why do you want to know? Why are you anxious to know? Uh, well, um, the word relevance, and then the word turn by turn. If if turn by turn happens to man, then I don't want to be a man. I want to be a sterile. I'm sorry for my question, sir. Why? Sir, because the why factor of anything that we need in this kingdom determines our capacity to receive understanding. Good. See, the greatest desire of every man is to stay relevant. Nobody wants to get to the peak of what he does and then be out again. Mm. Yeah. Look, I'm a politician and an entrepreneur. I want to stay active all the time. I don't want this turn by turn thing to happen to me. <laughs> Same with me. I am into marriage counseling. And, you know, educational value. But of late, I don't really get people come see me again. It's as if there is another person they rush to now. It's normal. Time and chance happens to men all. It is normal to be there today and not be there again. It is a law of life. But then, there is another law that one can engage, that can make one relevant and still relevant throughout the age, intergenerational relevant. And there is Tiaras. Okay. This is what I really want to know. The truth is, my business is gradually going down, unlike before. Permit me to come back tomorrow or the next, so that I will break this ear of this tiaras down with the integrity of scriptures, sir. You see, this tomorrow you mentioned seems like ages, but it's worth the wait anyways. We will wait. We will wait, friends. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, well, I'm um, sorry. Yeah. Honey, yes. I think we still have um, some packed rampers or something in the house, right? Yes. yes. You know, it's no good for a man of God to leave our house empty and dead, isn't it? Exactly. Oh, please, bring one of us. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much. Oh, thank we'll, you, sir. We'll wait till tomorrow. We will try our best to, to see what to do about this law. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you very no much. Problem. <laughs> Thank God. Another time. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Honorable. Thank, thank, thank you, man. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.
Ah, hallelujah. It's been an ethics day at work. <laughs> ah, hamper bag for Boda Subway. <laughs> Ministry can be so interesting. So because the wisdom of God was dispelled, it could bring Ampa back with many goodies. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you, including Ampa back. <laughs> I need to talk to Brother Peterson and know what really happened. Hello, good evening, sir. Hello. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope I did not call too late, ma. No, not at all, sir. I am Bro Samuel, Mr. Peterson, colleague at work. Yeah. I saw that already displaced from the screen and he has once spoken about you before. Yes, we didn't see him at work, ma. So I'm just checking on him to uh, confirm that everything is all right. He actually took heal, but he's actually getting better. Hmm. That's all right. If that, that means it's possible we see him tomorrow in the office, ma. Mm, actually, that I cannot guarantee, but as soon as it's okay, it should be. Oh, oh, all right. I will keep praying for him too. Say me well to him, like I send my greetings to him. All right, I will. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. All right. Thank you. Yes, I love you, dear Lord, so I will go wherever you want me to go. Yes, I carry. Hello, sir. We are very sorry, sir. We are very sorry. I know we have filled you time to that number. I'm making a promise. I will personally supervise uh, the you know, documents and I'll make sure to get to you today or failing. I promise, sir. Thanks for your cooperation, sir. Very sorry, sir. Good. I was about calling you. Uh, I want you to forward the entire retirement of Mr. Labis factory right away. I need to work on it. Exactly why I'm here, sir. Okay. Mr. Peterson is not on state. He has to sign the documents. Ah. Uh, yes. I, I thought he'd be in the office this morning. Okay. Um. Let's let's be patient. I I believe he should be around. You know, around later in the day. Um, so I'm afraid he may not. I overheard Mr. Tadi speaking to his wife, and it seems he won't be around for the whole week. The whole week? Yes, sir. That's good to know. Um, but, but Mr. Tadi? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, he is also in the same capacity to sign the documents. Oh, yes. He should be able to sign on behalf of uh, you know, uh, Mr. Peterson. All right, sir. So what you do for me now is that uh, you get the document ready. I will be going to Mr. Tadi's office very soon. But on my way there, I will branch at your office to pick the documents so that they can sign it. Because I just have to, <laughs> I have to give Mr. Labi feedback. The man has been patient enough. Yeah, that's true. So please get the document ready. I'll branch your office on my way to his office. Okay, yeah, right there. Please subscribe.
Darling. Dear. Please, someone is at the door. Please get the door. Okay. Ah, welcome, sir. Oh, thank you. Yeah, welcome, sir. How are you doing? Oh, welcome, sir. Ah. Mr. Samuel. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you. Uh, uh, God bless you. This is a surprise visit. I deemed it fit to pay me a visit when I saw you are not in the office again uh, today. Please have your seat, sir. Uh, thank, thank you, you for coming, sir. Oh, God bless you. He actually needs to balance well before coming to work. Yes. Uh, well, <coughs> balance well? Uh, Brother Samuel. This is the very dark side of our Christian journey. For the mm. past five years, we could not tell anyone. Dark side? Mm -hmm. Christian journey? <laughs> Those two are incoherent. We have been battling brain seizure for the past five years. And at each point, it's come with convulsion. It has really been a stressful one for me. It's as though God decided to punish me. There's no confidence anytime he goes to work or to church because of the fear of seeing him convulse. <laughs> Ah, dear. Ah. Patience is a virtue. This man promised he will come. I'm very sure he will definitely come. I know, but I can't just wait for him to be here. It's getting late. I'm sure you know that this man of God is not into full-time ministry. He will close from war before coming to see you. Yeah, you have a point. But that man, He's supposed to be a filmmaker. Ah, what do you mean? He knows how to keep people in suspense. <laughs> hey, look at me peeping through the window as if I'm anticipating the governor. I just hope that we Christians, we can anticipate the coming of the Lord this way. Uh, anyway, just relax. He will come. Okay. And uh, uh, do you remember you have an appointment with your party leaders this evening? Oh, yes. Uh, well, um, see, someone will have to stand in for me, but they postpone the meeting because I cannot miss my meeting with Pastor Samuel for anything. <laughs> okay. All right, please get me water to All right. This. Yeah, you don't need this. Yeah? You don't need to do this. Oh. Firstly, I want to appreciate you for sharing this dark side, so to say, of your uh, story mm. to me. And I must laugh and say, mm. you are a candidate of glory. A candidate of glory? <laughs> Mr. Samuel, do you know what it is to have no confidence in life at all? Mr. Peterson, <sighs> Madam, mm. I may not know what it is. I may not be able to explain or feel what you are going through. But all I know is that for the past five years, the glory of God has been hanging in this house. Only shit already. Bro, you are speaking in parables. Are you? Hmm. The glory of God always looks for what is not working. The glory of God always looks for ugly situation. And so if it is not working, I am a candidate of glory. I am a candidate of glory. We have exercised faith. But God has been faithful. Hmm. Madam, your God is faithful, is not even looking faithful. If you are looking or seeking for the glory of God without the raw materials of an ugly situation, the glory of God will not be made manifest. We need God to take the glory over my husband's situation. Enough is enough. The brain seizure is not a real problem. It's just a raw material. Every bad situation is just a raw material. If there are no raw materials, 
They cannot be a finished product. So do not waste glory in an atmosphere of glory. Mr. Peterson, Madam, submit what is not working. How do we submit a situation apart from the prayers we have been doing over time? I mean, how? Just as the magnet mm. attracts iron materials, mm. so does the glory of God want to fix up ugly situation. Mm. The glory of God is attracted to ugly situation. The death of Lazarus was for glory. The man born blind was for glory. Therefore, when anything happens in the life of God's children without a known cause, it is for glory. Therefore, submit it. Bro, how exactly do we do this? How? In the consciousness, knowing that this atmosphere is an atmosphere of glory, I pray that the glory of God will be seen in this ugly situation so that the world will know that you have sent me according to John chapter 11 in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, I love you, dear Lord, so I will go wherever you want me to go. Yes, I cherish my lover so much so I'll stay where you want me to stay. Yes, I love you, dear Lord, so I will go wherever you want me to go. Yes, I cherish my lover so much, so I'll stay where you want me to stay. Here's my proof that I love you and take you so dear when you speak. And I hear, then I do. Oh, it takes to serve Jesus till the very end. I will do what you say when you're there. Oh, hello, sir. Where are you? I'm already at the meeting venue. Uh, I am sorry, sir. I will not be able to make this meeting today, sir. Ha ha! Honorable. You know how important this meeting is. This is the best time to see our fans. See, party leader, I also have a very important meeting I cannot miss. Is the appointment an advantage, I mean a political advantage to our campaign? It's of spiritual advantage. You know what? Just go there and represent me well. Hmm? Thank you, sir. I think he's here. Uh, open the gate, please. Honey, honey. Yes, dear. Is here. Ah, see dear. what I have here. <laughs> Did you go and bring him from work? Bring him. I was outside all day, and he just showed up. Please sit down. Please sit down. You're welcome, sir. Wow. Okay, fine. Now that you're here, who are these stairs? Uh, honorable. Like I said the last time, anything you may be enjoying now will finish. The law of diminishing return will eventually set in. Your influence is meant to finish. Your relevance is meant to finish. The wine you have that make people keep coming to your space will finish. Um, but is that the way it is meant to be? Like, 
normal way according to the law of life. Mm. In the book of John chapter 2 in the Bible, talking about the wedding uh, in Cana, they were serving wine and then wine finished. And wine finished, and when wine finished, they went to Mary, who then went to Jesus to inform him about their finished wine. I think I know that story. Yes. You know, Jesus asked them to fetch water and then he turned the water to wine. And then he asked that the wine be served to the governor of the feast first. And when the governor of the feast tasted it, he said, this is the best wine. What do you want to bring out of that story? Do not let all that you have or all that you have be natural. Hmm. Because it will eventually finish. No matter what happens, make sure you have water. If performs miracle, not magic, hmm. you will need water to get wine. Please, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this. No matter what you have, you should always have water. Yes. Because your water can become anything. The water at the Canaan of Galilee became blood. The pool of Shiloh opened the heights of the land. When the water of Bethsaida was stirred, healings took place, miracles took place. So you must have water to be stirred. Man of God, you are going prophetic now. This water, what is it today? This is just an understanding that you need water to be steered. You will need to be steered of water to get wine. Because what a certain continuity of anything that you have or that you have is your water. Because your water can become anything. It can ascertain continuity and relevance in anything that you are doing. So, what is this water that we must have? And uh, after having the water, how do we stay it? Yes, or is it that we'll fetch water, you bless and provide it, and then we'll begin to use it? Just like, you know, the holy water syndrome of the old prophets. Far from the answer, sir. We are going deep on a journey. These are things of the spirit. These are algorithms of the eternity. Hmm. Only those that travel can decipher it. But then, that will be next time when I come. Oh. Oh. When I come back next time, we'll talk about that. I just want this teaching to settle well first. Then we we'll continue. Say so this next time. This next time. Well, we'll wait. We, we, Abby, we, we'll wait. But, uh, man of God, <laughs> to say that you are deep is an understatement. I mean, but anyway, it means we have to study the book of John chapter 2. Yes. While we await his next visit. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you. Therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Hmm. Lord, Peter saying, whom thou lovest is sick. Hmm. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. So you get glory when your children are sick? Is there something I don't know about your glory? John 9 And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I guess we are just God's control experiment. So to us, he allows us to go through unpalatable situations for his glory to be seen in our lives. So he uses our pains and troubles as evidence to show the world his glory. Exactly. Mm. You know, just as Bro Samuel said, you know, it's like his glory, I mean God's glory, mm. searches for what is not working to show itself. Mm. And when something is not working in our lives, then 
we are made prospective candidates of his glory. It is settled now. We are candidates of his glory because your health is not fine. And so, let us find rest mm. in God. And, you know, most importantly too, <laughs> let's find rest in bed. Yes, I cherish so my, my Savior so much So I'll love you whatever may be But there's a great confusion in the ninth chapter and the sixth verse of John. When he had not spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. We need about anointing oil. We have not had about anointed clay. How does clay become an anointing? So it means that the anointing was not to open the eyes. The anointing was to open the mind. Mm. And in verse 7. Go and wash in the pool of Shilwa. He went his way therefore and washed and came back saying. So what was the first thing that happened? How did the blind man locate the road? to Shilwa that he cannot know before when the spirit was in his eyes and that he now came back soon. This man has been blind. Now, Jesus mixed spirit and clay together and anointed the eyes and he told him to go. To where? To where? To go to wash. He did not see when they mixed the spirit. It was when he went to wash that the eyes was opened. How then did he get the, the eyes to now go and wash in the first place? How did, how did that man, born blind, knew the way to Shilua? It means there are two sides. There are two sides. He came back seeing his physical domain. He was anointed with spirit too. It's only between him and God. If nothing happens in the spiritual, can never be physically manifested. Hmm. Two sides. And that sight comes in form of wisdom. It comes in form of idea. It comes in form of creativity. It's like a virtual mapping. Aye. That when that eyes is anointed, that biologically they call this place eyes does not mean it is eyes. It is eyes biologically, but spiritually it is called sight. And you can have eyes opened and your sight is closed. And so when the physical eyes was anointed, the virtual screen of the sight opened up. And then the man knew the way to go and bath in Shilwa. Uh -huh. So if you don't have virtual library to check the mappings of your destiny, you cannot come with testimonies. That you know you have skill is physical. You have opportunities is physical. Do you know the virtual manual to know how to harness this gift? Oh Lord, open my eyes that I may see virtually and spiritually what needs to be built physically for the blessing of a generation. Yes, I love you, dear Lord, so I will go wherever yes. you want me to go. <laughs> And uh, thank you so much for not making this a long suspense. And of course, what is this water we have been talking about? Do not let all you have be wine. Please have water. Because wine will finish. And when wine finish, all your wedding guests will be angry. When <laughs> wine finish, all your wedding guests will leave. They will be angry, they will grumble and leave to their own space. Mm. All the men around you now, all the loyal men around you now, all those who follow you now, they are following you because you have wine. Men are not naturally created to be loyal. Hmm. The day your wine finish, you will discover that all those people that follow you and hang around you will leave. When your relevance finish, when your gift finish, when your influence finish, 
when all that you have finish, when the image of your purpose and relevance at the start of time finish, men will leave. And so don't joy over too much. Don't overjoy because you have a lot of men around you. Question, do you have water? Man of God, you are touching something on my inside. Hmm. Indeed, if anything you have as an advantage, finish. People will leave in no time. But what is this water we must have? John 7 38. He said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, he said, Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now you may begin to wonder, how did this water flow into our belly? And that can be found in John 4 14. He says, whosoever that we, that we drink of the water that I give to him, that person shall never thirst. Mm. He said the thing, the water shall be in him. That thing that he has drank, it shall be in him. A well of living water. Now take note of that word. In him. It shall be in him. Mm. It shall be in his belly. It shall be in him. A well of living water springing out of everlasting life. It means when you drink this water, your life is everlasting. Your influence is everlasting. Your relevance is everlasting. Your business is everlasting. Every dealings you have will become everlasting and will no longer be a torn by torn thing. Hey, hey, please, wait. This is water that Jesus is asking us to drink, that it is in our belly. How do we drink it? And what do we drink? Good. The Bible calls it something in Ephesians 5 to the 6. It said it is the washing of water by the word. And so this water goes into your belly as much as you drink the word of God. So in dwelling richly in the word of God, in reading from the volume of the books, in opening the scrolls, you are drinking living water. But, man of God, there are some people with the living word of God, but yet it doesn't convert to everlasting results. That you drink the water by the word, does not do anything. Huh. That water is in your belly does not convert to anything by default. Pool of Bethsaida, as powerful as it is, it does nothing until it is stirred. Except the living water in you is stirred, nothing happens. That you know the Bible and the word of God well doesn't mean it's going to profit you. Now I get where this terror comes from now. But how do you stir the waters now? Before we go there, sir, there's a major key. This key will position you to get the living water. And it is hunger and thirst. If you are not thirsty, you do not need water. In Revelation chapter 21, verse 6b, he said, I will give unto him that is thirsty the water of life freely. And in Isaiah 55, 1, he said, Anyone that is thirsty, come ye into the waters. He said, And he that have no money, he said, Come, buy and eat. Question How does people who have no money? How do they buy? It means that when it has to do with buying things in eternity, it means that when you want to make transaction from the realm of eternity, what you need is not money. The currency you need is hunger and thirst. Hmm. Indeed, you are a minister of God. No doubt about it. You go beyond the written letters of the scriptures. That is because in this kingdom, we are made able ministers of the New Testament. Not of letters, mm. not of the letters, but the spirit. Because the letter kill it, mm. but it is the spirit that gives life. And so, what is this living water that should be in our belly? That living water is the Holy Spirit. Wow. The Holy Spirit is the living water we drink through the word of God. Okay. But you said some people have this water. This Holy Spirit in them, but they do not stay. Oh. How? The truth is many Christians do not have the living water in them. Mm. And those who have it in them did not stir the water. And because they did not stir the water, they didn't stir the Spirit in them, the waters dried up. And when the waters dried up, their spiritual network dried up. Mm. Their discernment dried up. Many things that connect them to eternity dried up. Jesus Christ, give me water. Is, is my water dried or is just stagnant? Okay, how do we stir the water? You stir the waters by speaking the language of the Spirit. Mm. Don't forget I told you, the living water in you 
is the Holy Spirit. Mm. When you want to steer that spirit, you don't speak to that spirit in a language in English. Mm. You don't speak Greek to that spirit. Mm. You speak the language of that spirit. You hold your belly. You steer the waters. You steer the water. It comes with ideas. It comes with creativity. It comes with divine wisdom. And this divine wisdom bear two dimensions. If all I have is water, then I'm not a failure. If all I have is water, then I can steer. Mm. Even if I'm living in a warm bedroom apartment, do I have water that is big enough to be steered? Mm. Even if it looks like people don't like me, people don't know me, nobody's making a demand on my grace, mm. do I have water? Once I have water, I can steer it. And when I steer the waters, I can buy things from eternity. And when I steer the waters, I can enter on a journey in eternity. And I begin to transport from the other realm what is needed in this realm. If all I have is water, then I can remain My water can bring out my wine. Once I have water, my wine can never fail. Steerers do not lose relevance in anything they do. Just like the waters and nose can become anything. In other words, the Holy Spirit in us can become anything. Hmm. It became blood in Egypt and it spotted the ways for God's people. And same water destroyed the Egyptians. I am blessed and refreshed. If only I could stir the waters, new ideas for my business will come. That will make me fresh. Yeah. New ideas for my political campaign will come. And then I will become a kingdom ambassador in that realm. Exactly. Honorable, do not let anything you have be natural. Natural will always finish. Common sense will finish. Connections will finish. What you need is the supernatural. Once you have the supernatural, you are going to have an everlasting life. Everything you have will be everlasting. This is more than church service. This is a spiritual food I will never forget soon. No wonder our fathers in the faith remained relevant even after so many years. Even those that have been with the Lord, their relevance is still preserved. One more thing we also need to talk about before we close this discussion is that after you have steered, there's something else you need to do, but that will be tomorrow. After which we will now engage in the corporate anointing because it does much. I need to go now, Honorable. Wow. What will I give you now? <laughs> exactly. Because the scripture says, either waters must be watered. watered. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable. Just keep praying for me that my source of revelation will not run dry. As long as I have revelation that is gotten from the steering of the waters, I have everything. <laughs> Amen. I'm a sharer of the supernatural. Bringing people to the light of Christ. Yes, I walk in light as Jesus. Oh, Brother Samuel. <laughs> welcome, sir. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, sir. Mr. Samuel. Yeah. <coughs> How are you? Good. 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 I was in the office today. I didn't see you. I thought I would see you. Oh, you Please came? Sit. Yes, of course I <laughs> was. I did. I came to the office today. I came too, but I left rather early because I needed to catch up with some appointments. So it means you came later. Oh, well, you are actually right. Uh, you are right. I, you know, I came to the office to tidy up some things. Well, I must say, thank you so much for your last visit, bro, Samuel. You know, those words of yours lifted our spirit and strengthened our faith. Okay. Mm. We thank God. So, how is it now? Well, <laughs> we are candidates of God's glory and uh, we believe that we will be healed. What if I say he has healed you? 
What if I say the convulsion will not happen again? <laughs> we believe that also. But uh, actually, the doctor said the lesion in my brain has to dry up before another MRI scan can be conducted. And that is when we can know the state of the uh, situation. How will you know if the lesion has dried up and then how often does this uh, convulsion take place? Actually, the convulsion is just once in a while. But um, after conducting the MRI, we will get to know other information, sir. You will go and tell the doctor now that it has ended in brace and that the lesion has dried up. How? How? <laughs> Bro, Bro Samuel. Samuel. <laughs> uh, you don't need an alarm to know that God has moved. Huh. You only need to fit it to trigger God's movement. But, but that would be very risky. I mean, won't we look like fools before the doctors? The move of God is mysterious. Let us begin to live the life of eternity that is expected of us. Jesus telling Peter to walk on the sea was risky and foolish. But that is the stretching of the spirit. The prophet telling Naaman to go and bathe at the dirty pool of Jordan was risky and foolish. But it is in those reckless trusting in his ways and ways that birth the miracles. <laughs> Mr. Peterson and Madame, go and tell the doctor that the lesion has dried up. You know what? Let's act it out. I am your doctor and you are the patient. Action. Good day, doctor. Good day, sir. Uh, um, uh, we have uh, a good news to tell you, sir. Good. Share it. I have been healed of the brain seizure. I mean, the lesion in my brain has dried up. <laughs> you must be joking. Your last MRI, you know, it, it, it interpreted that this, this old, this lesion is still deep and it has not dried up. It has dried up, sir, and it's no longer there. How do you know that? We stretch the cords of eternity and we look from the lens of heaven and we pushed it to happen and it never fails. My brothers and sisters, I'm sorry, medicine is not a nuisance to civilization. Neither is Jesus a nuisance to a generation. Then I guess we have to run the test again to confirm. I'm in charge. When I go the letter from the lab that the lasers have tried up to tell me. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, doctor. You see, we presented what was not working mm -hmm. in an atmosphere of glory. We knew that the brain seizure was not a problem, but just the raw material. Mm -hmm. And every raw material must have a finished product in an atmosphere of glory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doctor, I really want to appreciate you for everything, for your help and all. We are indeed very grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations, indeed. God is really, really greater than medicine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was great. And I don't know for her, but personally, I was blessed because things began to appear new to me. Mm. <laughs> we thank God. Yes, sir. According to our action scripture, water has been presented to Jesus. Jesus has made it wine, but nobody knew. Because according to the Jewish culture, the governor of every feast must taste everything before it is served to people. Mm. And so if the wine does not get to the governor of the feast, nobody will know. Hmm. Hmm. So, it means no matter how sweet your wine was, it will never get to people. No. And the people will not see it or experience it, except it goes through the governor. Exactly. <sighs> Bro Samuel, where are you going? Men are needed. Hmm. There are men that are needed to stand in the place of the governor to confirm the miracles that God has done, hmm. to make known the things that has been bought in the realm of the spirit. Your favor has come. Your ideas have come through the steering of the water, but you need a man to confirm it. Mm. Favor of God in your life may not be made manifest if there are no men. Men are gates. 
you will need them to confirm. You will need them as systems to confirm what has been bought spiritually and supernaturally. Hmm. Even when by default, you're already established. No matter how big and established you can be, no matter how, how connected you can be, no matter how global influential you can be, you need men. Even Jesus, the word himself, said in Luke 2, 52, he said, and the boy Jesus grew in favor and stature before God and men. The Bible talks about a man who has been paralyzed for 38 years. And this man sat by the pool. In that same pool side where he has been sitting down, many people have been going to the pool and they are getting their miracles. This man has been sitting by the pool for 38 years and there was nobody to help him. In fact, many people have gone to the pool and gotten their healings each time the angels tear the water. But he got to it, Jesus was passing by, and he saw the man and said, ah, this is an environment where healing takes place. This is an atmosphere where healing takes place. And so, infirmities and incapacities and inabilities must not be found in this realm. Mm -hmm. And then he saw a man paralyzed. He said, why are you this close yet this far? Why have you not gotten your miracle? And he asked him, do, do, what, what's wrong with you? Do you want to get healed at all? But when the man answered Jesus, he said, I have no man. Mm. Mm. No man to help him into the pool. He was this close, but he was this far. Between you and the delivery of what has been bought in the spirit, amen, they are gates. Do not ignore the ministry of men. We need men. Woe betide the man who has no men in his life. Hmm. Um, man of God, you talked about corporate um, steering. <laughs> Let us arise and begin to steer the water in us. Hmm. Let us ascend to the realm where the living water, clear as crystals, proceeding out of the throne of God. Jesus. Where the tree that bear twelve manner of fruit yields fruit every Jesus. month. Jesus. Let us ascend to a realm where we remain Jesus. eternally Jesus. relevant. Jesus. And we are sent by stirring the waters. Jesus. And when you stir the waters, Jesus. you must have an understanding of what you are doing. As you are blowing in tongues, you are stirring the waters. And when you are stirring the waters, you have an expectation of what has Ma prade bolse che la bala le bolse na grena na ya ne ma na ya la la prode la bolse che na ma ai ne ne sana le la mi bolse ma prade bolse che la na ma na breka da da bale bol na che na la de brada le bol na ma ra che na le ka sana la bas ma pre ma pre da be le bos ma pre la da da na na ye na ma prade bolse che le bala bas ma che na na bala le bol na ta na ma sha ai che ai che ai che I see the spirit. My spirit is scared. My water is scared. My spirit is scared. My water is scared. It's coming with ideas. It's coming with faith. It's coming with blessings. It's coming with creativity. It's coming with lifting. It's coming with open doors. It's coming with desire. It's coming with desire. And rest happiness. Now pray for the boss. 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 Ma che cosa? 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 Ma che
Honorable, the mistake many people make also is that after they steal like this, they say in Jesus' name we pray and they go and sit down. Mm. They don't know that anytime you steal the waters, some realities have been bought. Your favor has been bought. So the Bible says, forever, O oh Lord, thy word is set to the level. Question, do you know what to do to settle it here? It is set to the level, but for now, we need the word settled here. There are two realms we are talking about. Forever, O oh Lord, the result of your steering is set to the level. Your open doors is set to the level. The ideas is settled. What do you know to make it settled here? The Bible also says, he said, when you pray believing, he said, you are going to receive them and you shall have them. Receiving is spiritual. When you steer like that, what you have done, you have received. But the question, have you touched it? Have you had it? Mm. So there's a realm you must be able to transfer. And what we do after steering, we now say, God, oh. what is that reality? Is that, that my reality? steering has procured in the spirit. What, what is that thing that has been procured in the spirit? What is that the steering of my water? I draw it out. 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 I if while we were praying and praying in tongues, you forwarded this video, respectfully speaking, I beg you, you don't have water. If while we are tonguing, you could not follow in the tonguing and steering, mm. and you forwarded the video, I'm sorry, even if you're an apostle, you don't have water. Go back. Because when deep talks, it calls unto deep. When spiritual people are traveling, you know your mate. As you are steering here, something is supposed to steer you there. You're supposed to rush. So please, if you know you did not steer, and you forwarded, please go and find out. Something is wrong with your water. And if you had water, maybe it has been dried up. So you can go back and re-steer. You can encourage yourself and steer waters. Men does not do much in this kingdom because the Bible says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. What defines a man is not that you have a biological stature, is that you can stay and compel in the spirit. Are you a steerer? Only steerers remain relevant transgenerationally. And so, if you want to remain relevant at the sound of time, it's not just ideas. Ideas will not take you far. Ideas will finish. Your skill will finish. Your, 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 your reading books will finish. But if you can steer something in the spirit, and you can shut down, and when you steer, you transport it to this realm, then you are a steerer. You are not just a man. You are a steerer. These generations, we need people that can steer. Praise the Lord. Please subscribe. Yes, I love you, dear Lord, so I will go Wherever you want me to go Yes, I cherish my lover so much So I'll stay where you want me to stay Yes, I love you, dear Lord, so I will go Wherever you want me to go Yes, I cherish my lover so much So I'll stay where you want me to stay Here's my proof that I love you And take you so dear When you speak and I hear then I do Oh, it takes to serve Jesus Till the very end I will do what you say when you dare
where you want me to be Yes, I cherish my Savior so much So I'll love you whatever may be Whenever you Say when you tell